Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be talking about syncing audio with video within open shot. Now, if you have not seen my original open shot tutorial series, be sure to check that out in the description area below. Now, quite often when we are doing a lot of video editing, what a lot of people like to do is they like to record the audio on a separate track. So they still have the audio within the video, but they also like to record a separate track as well, which is what I've done here. So whenever you do that, the problem comes in when you actually have to sync it up. Okay, so that's a problem that I think anybody who does video editing can understand. And so in OpenShot, there is a way to make it a little bit easier, although it's not quite as easy as something like Adobe Premiere Pro where it has a syncing option where you could sync multiple clips together, especially try to sync audio together as well. Let's go ahead and delete that. So let's go here and hear how this sounds uh, with the existing audio in this clip. So before I go further, let me show you a different view that you might like better than the simple view that OpenShot has. So if you go to view, go here to advanced view. This is a view that I like, so I could get to a lot of the common features a lot quicker. And you could also move stuff around. And so that's the view that I particularly like, okay? So let's go ahead and get back to the video and see what I've tried to do here. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually gonna record this video, but also record the audio through my mic. So as you can see there, standard video with the audio inside, okay? So now you have this separate audio clip right here, right? So how do you actually sync it up and also remove or mute the audio here well before you do that it might really help for you to actually see where the volume's at okay so you could either zoom in like this okay or you can use your control and then use your scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in okay so i'm zoomed in closer now so if you you could either right click on the clip or you could choose this little down arrow and if you go to display and choose waveform you will actually see the actual audio waveform now open shot, it does allow you to change the wave color. Okay, so if you double click, there's a color selection right here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work. Okay, uh, but it would be nice if that did. But the most important thing is you can actually see the waveform. So this is where the audio is. Okay, so if you just see there, see. So the reason why I clap and a lot of people do video editing will understand. It kind of gives you a marker audio wise. When you have a waveform, you can see exactly where that's at, okay? So as you get closer, you'll be able to sync up with your actual audio file. So if I bring the audio file down here, okay? And I also do the same thing. Let's go ahead and display the waveform. You see? Now you can actually see where the audio actually starts, ends, and so forth. So in that way, you could sync it up as close as possible, okay? So before you start syncing things up, the first thing you want to do is actually mute the audio on this clip. So you go back to this clip, choose volume, entire clip, level zero. Okay, so whenever you play this, okay, so it will play the audio from here. So if I took this out, let's play that again. So if I play that again. See, the audio is mute, but the audio is still in there. I don't like removing the audio. I like keeping it in there just in case I need to use it, okay? So let's bring this clip back down. And so let's go display waveform. And so as you could probably already tell, it's probably synced up pretty closely in my opinion, okay? Okay, so what I'm doing right now is So the audio from the mic, the great thing about having a separate audio track is you can do adjustments and even just listening to it you probably can't tell here the audio right here has less background noise because I have the pop filter and this mic is actually a, a better mic uh, than what I have on my phone but you know the phone mic is pretty good for most people okay so if you actually go in closer okay like this you could get as close as possible see so there is a slight delay it's kind of hard to tell but if I press play right here Okay, so, so, you know, the volume is not exactly in sync. So my lips are actually moving a little, like maybe half a second, a millisecond 
ahead of the audio. And when you zoom in this far, you can see where actually the audio tracks are. Then you can see exactly that it's not in sync. Okay. So what I would do is, first thing you want to do is turn off this snap enabled. Okay. Because if you don't, the actual tool is always going to try to snap. So that means you can't get approximately where you want to go. Let me show you what I mean. So first you want to cut this. Okay. Using the slice tool. So then you can move this around. Okay. So I'm going to slice that. Okay. Then delete this right here. Okay. And then you're going to show waveform again. Okay. So now you can move stuff around. But the problem is if you have this snap tool on there, it always wants you to try to snap things in place. So it's hard to get the exact place where you want to go. Okay. So I turn it off whenever I'm doing this audio syncing. And you see right there, this is probably way closer. It's almost exact. Okay, so you have to play it by eye in this case. Now, in other video editors, there is a way that you could change this from the video timing to the audio timing, but I was not able to find something similar in OpenShot. Okay, but let's go ahead and play this again. And you see it should sync up a lot closer or almost exactly. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to record yep. this video, but also record the audio. So here it's synced perfectly. Okay, as everything's exactly the same, the audio syncs perfectly with it. Okay, so and so right that is how you sync audio within OpenShot. Okay, I wish it was, uh, I would say easier. I wish they had syncing tools. And also, one thing I miss is that. I don't have as much granular control over the volume as I used to. You know, now if you go to volume, it only gives you these options, okay? Before, there was a bar to do the audio, and so far I have not found a way to get that back. And there's not any properties here. Even though this says volume, that doesn't mean adjusting the volume levels. And so I do miss that, okay? So maybe they'll add that back in in the future. But overall, that is how you actually sync audio in OpenShot. And the same method is used throughout pretty much every video editor. And so if you learn how to do it here, it's pretty much the same in other ones. And then when you use more advanced, um, you know, auto video tools like maybe Premiere Pro, uh, you know, iMovie, Final Cut Pro, or even Kated Live, uh, it's a lot easier to do more like granular volume control there. But in OpenShot, once you get used to doing this, it's not too hard. And at the same time, once you know how to do this very basic foundation of audio syncing, you'll be able to do the same thing in any other video editor. So that's it for this particular episode. If you had any thoughts on audio syncing, or if you knew of some better methods on how to do this in OpenShot, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you did want to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.